coffee is not good. Not good. I don't want Rachel to do it this morning, but it's like bad. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, so I'm sort of recovering from being like semi-sick. It wasn't like, it was pretty mild in terms of sickness. Like it wasn't as bad as the flu. I wasn't like throwing up or anything, but I hate my neighbor. Um, anyway, it wasn't that bad, but it was like, I was like having like crazy hot and cold flashes and like a fever and I just, just did not feel good. Like I was just, I slept like all day. And so I'm sort of recovering from that. I had an eventful day yesterday, and so I figured I would show you what I kind of do for my everyday type makeup, um, especially now that I have a job in which I work in childcare, and I like to get ready every day. I like to really feel put together. It's a, a big part of me, um, but I also don't want to spend that much time in the mornings, you know, like I want to get other stuff done when I wake up. So this is sort of the routine I go through. Uh, I'm going to be focusing mainly on the base as far as like what I actually do every day, um, but then I'll show you what I typically will do on my eyeballs also if, I, if I'm if i doing a specific look that I have in mind. Um, it, it tends to be sort of my staple neutral look. Anyway, anyway. So I don't, I don't wear foundation, not at all. I wear no concealer. I do wear a little bit of uh, my Becca under eye corrector though, um, right here. So this is actually going to stay around since I guess Smashbox is going to carry on the Becca highlighters and the uh, Becca corrector and expanded the range a little. So, you know, I guess I'll take what I can get. Uh, but I am going to add a little bit of Glow Lust from Auric. I normally do like to do like a little bit of a shiny base product instead of a foundation. Um, I'll normally mix this with a little bit of like a moisturizer. So I'll just use this one from Dollface since it's out uh, just to sort of give it a little more spreadability since this is like a thicker product but this gives me enough to where I'm like oh like my skin looks nicer but it's not obvious and it's not high in coverage and that's sort of what I've been um vibing with these days like I don't really love a lot of coverage I wore the most full glam yesterday that I've worn in a long time and I was like wow 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 my skin looks interesting and I even I wore like MAC face and body like it wasn't a high coverage look at all but I wore like concealer and I was like wow uh, but anyway then I go in with a little bit of the Becca under eye corrector just enough to cancel out anything and I like that this one has some luminosity to it so it just really does make me look nice and healthy um, I also like glossy stretch for this purpose but that one tends to have a it's just a lighter color and since I don't wear foundation like the highlighting thing just kind of looks strange on just bare skin uh so I just don't use that right now I haven't worn foundation in so long I don't know why I'm keeping all mine around <laughs> I'm just hoping that I'm gonna like get back into it maybe one of these days uh, but that's essentially what I do for my coverage type products um I will typically dip into my salt quad um I am going to show you a different item though uh, but I normally will use a little bit of contour, sometimes light bronze. I'm just trying to finish it up really. Um, and then I always use beige and wine. So I'm going to start off with beige. That's what I like to do is start off with the highlight. Um, I love this one. It's just the perfect color for me to where it's not like ultra icy. Um, but it just like kind of blends in with my skin tone. And it has such a good shine to it. And it has a lot might have to get something to help buff that out. I think my goldfish earrings, my kids go crazy over these. I put a little glassish. That was a lot of highlight, but that's fine. It'll tone down. Um, I am going to sort of demo this gel contour from KVD because it sort of serves the same purpose as contour from Salt for me. Um, I do like this. Hold on. Um, anyway, I actually do like this. It it has sort of a learning curve for me. I, ex I expected with it called a gel contour that it would just be like ridiculously easy to use, but it does pick up on itself for me if I put it on bare skin. So I will put it on the back of my hand first and work it into a brush. Um, but I don't really feel like this is all that contour-ish. 
like it's not as it's not quite as warm as like a bronzer on me um but it does add warmth so i do like it for that purpose but i wouldn't call this necessarily a contour either um i've been thinking of my next sort of um makeup purchase as far as like a contour product i'm really trying i'm on the hunt for my perfect like cream contour contour um and i really want to try uh, amber from fenty so if you guys have tried that let me know if that like is too gray because i like i like this sort of tone definitely um but i'm really just looking for something that's <laughs> salt new york contour but isn't salt new york contour because i go through those like freaking water that's all I'm gonna have to buy another one because I, I already hit pan on the, the new one I just opened. But this, this is like a very flattering color on me, I feel, and it's not like too much. So it's kind of nice. I just apply it on my nose with my finger because it works the best that way. And I go in a little bit on my forehead. Nothing crazy. But like it's enough where there's like a little bit of definition on my face, but it's not like super super stark either. Like I, I don't know. People are still hate commenting on my freaking Kyma Cosmetics video because I wore too much bronzer and blush. Like sue me, but it doesn't give like that. Like what I used to do when I wanted something really really intense. I've, I've definitely stepped back in my base product application, but I liked it when it was intense. Like y'all can shove it. So yeah, I'll go on with wine right here from Salt, and let's see. A little bit on this brush. This color is just like everything to me. It's like the perfect rusty toasty. I'm gonna drape a little bit. It's normally not like this intense for me but I'll just sort of watercolor it all over myself like khaki. But it's just a really really flattering tone on me I feel. Maybe it's not on camera. <laughs> I don't know. But I do like to keep it higher up here. Um, and then I will put like a little bit on my nose as well, and then a little bit on my forehead, normally. So I'll normally take my finger for my nose and I'll just put it right here. Sort of in this little cute shape. Yeah, like that. And then a little bit on my forehead just to like mesh it all together. Just the slightest amount. Yeah, a little bit like that. <clears throat> the heathen in me wants to do more, but I don't need to. And then I will go in with my Lottie London freckle tint. Love this thing. Um, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if they actually look realistic, but I just love fake freckles, you guys. I just don't feel complete without them. So I normally do it like so, and I dry it for like 1.2 seconds. And then I stamp, stamp, stamp. Pat, 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 pat. And I just think they're so cute. So, so cute. And if I do it like mildly like this, I feel like they have the chance to look a little more realistic. I don't know, you guys can be the judge of that. You guys are brutally honest with me sometimes. Especially if you're not a subscriber. Y'all are kind of bitches sometimes. <laughs> Get on here. It's always like, you dumb, ugly idiot. <laughs> okay. What did I do to you? But I don't actually care. So that's the good part. I was, um, I was watching this YouTube channel. Uh, called Women of Impact. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it at all. I like to sort of surround myself with um, nice uh, content, like motivational and uplifting content for myself since that has been the the biggest contributor to um, bypassing my depression essentially. And so I've been watching um, that channel a lot and I can't remember her name off the top of my head but I will link the video. Um, but this pastor came on and she had like this incredible story of how she had gotten pregnant really, really young, like 13 years old. And she, at some point she realized that not everything that people said to her about her actually had to be accepted as part of her identity. And I was like, wow, that's pretty powerful. Like, I didn't think about that, you know, like a lot. 
lot of people are gonna give you a lot of info, but that doesn't mean you have to just take that, you know, and, and make it part of you. It's been straight fire. Anyway, what I typically will do on my eyes, my brows are already done, I just spike them up. If I'm going for this one specific look, of course I should have. I've already done a look with Auric Temper, which is one of my favorites for that, but ColourPop, what's it called, Ritz maybe? No, it's called Cosmic Charge. Just wait, y'all. This shadow is so good. Just going with a little bit of um, grayish from Smashbox, this cream shadow. I normally like to have either just a wet wild base on or like a cream shadow base. So I'll just use a little bit of this. Smudge it all over my eyelid. I feel like this look too is really like, I don't know, sultry while still everyday friendly and really like the way that this shadow shines, you guys, it's ridiculous. If only ColourPop would like keep their super shocks. I don't know if this one's actually still available. I pray it is because I urge you to buy it. It's really, really, really beautiful. And I love that Smashbox shadow. Look at that color. That's a good neutral. Ready? Ready, 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 ready. It's the perfect neutral to cool, like almost olive undertoned bronze. Like, a cool tone bronze. Oh my god, it is so gorgeous. And it's the ultra glitter formula, so like you know it's good. Oh, I put way too much right there. Assuming application was better, like this is show stopping. Show stopping, y'all. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna layer that up a little bit. Like, oh, it, the impact. You guys are not gonna be able to You think, oh, I don't have my phone. I was gonna shine my flashlight, like a real YouTuber, but no. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing on the, my fingers are so fucking dirty. On the other eye. I think that was more shadow than I had anticipated. Cosmic charge again. And then I'm normally just going with like Ladybird on the inner corner, so I'll show you that too if you want. I love Ladybird. It's one of my favorite color pop super shocks. Super shocks are just not, they don't get what they deserve, I don't believe personally, but that's fine. Um, I've been using this a lot actually. I am a basic ass bitch these days. I'm gonna go with the shade Seed right here and sort of use it as like a liner moment. Just a slight, slight, slight wing. I love that color. Like, look how boring I am getting excited over neutrals. Ladybird is not new to this channel. It's a, it's the closest dupe I've found for um, the lightest Pat McGrath shimmer in the Midnight Sun palette which is my favorite shimmer of all time. And it's a very, very close dupe. It's just really icy and really gorgeous. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just put it in the center of my lower lash line, actually. Just like lighten things up a little, brighten it. And I'm gonna tap a little of that on the brow bone because I can't be tamed. I don't like this mascara, but I guess I'm gonna use that. This is the Stila, I don't know, like, Huge mascara, extreme, extreme lash mascara. It's called huge. <laughs> it's okay, like it's not my fave, but it's not like terrible. It just doesn't last well on me and it doesn't actually do that much for my lashes. Like they get clumpy, like they're huge, but do they actually look good, you know? I, mean, I don't really do much on my lips these days because I have to wear a mask, so uh, what's the point in putting on lipstick? But I'll normally just wear my like Kaleidos lip mask because it's like ultra glossy, ultra shiny. And I think it looks really pretty on my lips. So maybe I'll add a little bit more of that so you guys can get the, the plumped effect. And I guess they are sending us all their lipsticks. Um, they apparently had emailed us and we didn't get it. I think they just didn't email us, okay, but that's fine. Um, I just assumed we weren't getting it and I have a problem with it, but I'm excited to try a good apple lip mask. That's where I was going with that. 
I do a little more on the day to day on my eyes just because I like to have content. But like this is a look that like doesn't fail me. Like I feel good in this. I feel very pretty in this. I feel put together. I get compliments on it the whole night. Like I just like it. So back to this black smudge. <laughs> Maybe the kids like this these days. I don't know, I'm starting to realize I'm like not really that hip anymore. I'm like an old person now. And if I'm feeling like really spicy, I'll add a little bit of my uh, Master Crystal Reflector from Mr. Mario. Just smack that on my eyelids for some extra pizzazz. Because I really like this. It's like a Fenty Diamond Balm, except it's not as wet. So it works well. Um, also, I forgot, I was gonna film something else, but if you guys want a video of me and Rachel ranting out <coughs> the discontinuation of our beloved gold palette, stay tuned, I'm sure we're gonna film one because I'm pissed about it. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you like to do with your makeup. Do you wear foundation? I guess I'm gonna use some setting spray. Let me know your favorite single shadow looks. Let me know that. Give me all the deets on your single shadows and maybe a good lip gloss, like a clear gloss. Is the Essence one really good? Is that really cheap one? I kind of want to try it. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Peace out, Girl Scout.